Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to... I almost said Crusader Kings 2. Star Control 2. Different game. Different game entirely. Alright, well, let's uh, navigate. There might be some uh, stuff to mine or something. Maybe? Maybe, maybe? I can hope. Auto scan. That is a lot of crap. Yeah, I've been thinking about it some more, and I think I will uh, ditch some of our fuel uh, pods. I can always... Uh, get more from uh, the Melnorm. I've, I've got enough... Uh, uh, I mean, I've got the caster, so I can... Uh, the hyperwave caster, so I can... Uh, ooh. Class 5 tectonics. Well, let's uh, see how our ship works with that. Um. Let's see if we can pick up all of these uh, rare earths. Especially since we have a uh, greater capacity now. Alright, I think that's about it. Handy. Didn't get hit by any of the uh, earthquakes, so we don't know how well the uh, lander improvement will do, but um, the improved capacity is help is nice. I think Planet 1 is where he's at, so uh, we'll... Uh... Ooh, Treasure World. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm all over this. Seventeen gold. There shouldn't be much to worry about danger-wise. Silver. Platinum. Iridium. Palladium. And more platinum. Nice. Alright, what else is there? Let's go to this uh, gas giant over here. With its four moons. Anything good? Quasi-degenerate world. Ooh. Oh, so good. Once again, five tectonic. Uh, degenerate matter. Ooh, nice. That did that worked wonders. I think there might be like a time limit on that, or something like that. So you you need to get away from the uh, uh, earthquakes pretty quickly. I don't remember. Ultramarine world. Ooh, that looks good. Lots of good stuff. Holmium. Let's get all the rare earths first. And anything left over, we can fill up with uh, regular junk. There we go. Now, the main thing to use all these resource units for eventually is uh, crew and um, halide world. I think that is... are those corrosives? Those are corrosives, I think. Yeah, those look like corrosives. There might be one or two radioactives, but uh, I think I'll ignore that. I don't know how much I'm going to use my uh, fuel for the, uh... It's another Halide world. 
I mean, uh, my credit, my RUs for uh, um, fuel. Although I do think that I should probably. Oh, oh, hello. Well, let's see how we do against uh, the Slylandro probes. This probe is not hostile. Do not attack. I is it really? Why do you attack us? We are not host hostile to your life force. Behavior follows dictated priorities. Replication, data gathering, contacting the alien life forms in peaceful manner. Priority override. New behavior dictated. Must break target into component materials. I hate you. Alright, that is... That was, uh, not as good as I had liked. I would have liked. That is going to cost us a lot to replace all the crew that we're blowing on these guys. There's another Slylandro probe? Jeez! What do we have? Magnetic world? Uh, it's just junk. Class 5 tectonics. Actually, manifest. Cargo. We only have 194 free. Okay, that's... That's right. I wish they had given us a... They had made a high capacity... Uh, um... We come in peace. No, you don't. You misinterpret our intentions. Please do not attack. Replication status. Eight replications. Next replication 85% complete. Estimated replication since departure from point of origin. 583 replications. Estimated replications projected one year from this date. 14,784 replications. Estimated replications projected five years from this date. 45,786,412 replications. That's Priority a lot. Override. New behavior dictated. Must break target into component materials. able to stay away from it. There's a lot of Slylandro probes around here. Alright, well, uh, let's go visit another world. Let's go visit this orangey one up here. Radioactive world, that's pretty good. Class 3 tectonics. Okay. Check our manifest after this. All right, how much do we have? How much space do we have left over? Ninety-four. So yeah, we can get a hundred out of that. Um, in which case, I might ditch this base. Well, let's ditch some of the base metal, so we can get up to one hundred free. All right. So that way we can make one more full trip if we find anything else good. Let's see if there's anything good on these moons. It's a Selenic world? Yep. 
nothing good. Uh, this might be an auric world. Oh, it is. Oh, good. Definitely a world we want to dispatch to. Alright, now we're going to wait until um, we find a world that's worth visiting before we uh, d ditch anything else. Although, there might be more than uh, we can hold here. Yep. Alright, well, um... Let's get rid of all of that. And you can't hold more in your lander than you can hold in the ship, so that's not bad. Alright, so the next up we'd get rid of is Noble. Copper World. Yeah, nothing good there. The only other things we might be interested in are biologicals at this point. Which I... Ah, stupid world. Stupid moon. Get back here. Get your... Stop it! There we go. Uh, carbide world. That's all common stuff. Alright. I hope there are, more, there, there are no more Slylandro in here. Alright. Down to world number one. Ah, human visitors! What a treat! I am Admiral Zex. Please, do not be frightened. Unlike the rest of my species, I enjoy humans. You may know me by my I reputation, enjoy eating my us. leadership of Vox forces during the war with your alliance. I assure you that this behavior, a sad necessity of those times, Belies a much kinder, gentler being. Really? Please, be welcome. We can get to know one another. Expand our interspecies relationship. No, but I don't want to. How silly of me. You aren't here for polite repartee. You have come for my show fixing maidens. Yeah, how did you know? What are you doing here, Admiral Sex? Ah, such a good question. But you always were a bright species. Yes. I will explain. Of course. After the Great War, in which I played some small part, uh, the leading your Council, forces. in recognition yes. for my services, granted me this planet, so that I might pursue my hobby without disturbing the General Vox pockets. I am a collector, you see. I have the they finest exiled you menagerie here, didn't they? of beautiful creatures in all space. A menagerie? As is this a collection of animals, like a zoo? Animals? <laughs> oh no, Captain! Not mere animals. My menagerie contains only the most beautiful creatures in the galaxy. Each of my children, as I like to call them, has a wonderful set of traits which make them unique and special, especially to me. I have a complete variety of beasts from as far away as Procyon and Vega. No, this is not just some zoo. I have worked diligently for many years to craft my menagerie, to gradually improve it. Perhaps you can't tell, but I am rather proud of it. No, I couldn't tell at all. There's one creature, one gorgeous animal, which I do not yet possess. I would give almost Anything for that creature, Captain. Like, perhaps, your show fixed maidens. If we went and got this little critter for you, would you give us the show fixed maidens? Hmm. What an interesting proposal. Yeah. I never would have thought of such a wonderful idea myself. You are a genius, Captain. Of course I am. I have the genius question. trait. 
Yes, I accept your offer. Deliver the creature to me, and I shall give you the show fixing maidens. I will even provide you with a clue to finding the creature's native planet. Really? My source for this information is an ancient wildlife handbook written millennia ago by some unknown huh. alien author. The pertinent passage goes as follows. Demise. It basks in yellow light within the constellation Lynch Na Plo. We have translated Lynch Na Plo to mean approximately the long, thin creature who has swallowed the huge beast. I am afraid this is all that I know. Hmm. I hope it is sufficient. Alright, would you tell me... No, I don't need that. Uh, Admiral Zex, why don't you attack us as all other Vox have? Because I like humans, Captain, I respect and admire your species. I do not share the bigoted views of most of my people. Yeah, you really are a tentacle monster, aren't you? Uh, Admiral Sex, why do you like us? We thought all Vux hated humans. No, no, not all Vux, Captain. Most, but not all. Really? It is true when the majority of my people view one of your species, uh -huh. they are forced to regurgitate. But there are those among us who have grown beyond such childishness to take a more liberal view. We, the few sophisticates, are not subject to the whims and fads of current fashion. You just kind of Our vomit a little bit in your mouth instead. Our likes are strictly based on personal preference. We see the beauty in you humans. The value in a long-term relationship. You yeah, are you're, you're still yes, sounding like a tentacle, but personally, tentacle monster. I like difference. In fact, I adore it. Your physique is so wonderfully varied. Your multitudinous, rigid appendages, your tiny double eyes, your varied skin coloration, and the delightful patchwork of hair covering only parts of your bodies, leaving other parts bare and smooth. Hmm, I value your species, Captain. I see you as just people, like us fox. Whoa, Admiral Sex. This is a bit... This is, a. Uh... This is just a bit too weird. Are you some kind of perv, uh, aesthete? You have talked with my Vox countrymen, haven't you? No, actually They're I haven't. They're close-minded fools, bigoted in all ways. Call me what you wish, Captain. I choose to view myself as, well, simply open-minded. Free to experience the full range of life's possibilities. The Vox rulers could not refuse my military genius, couldn't ignore the many victories I gave them. But they would not tolerate my behavior, accept my desires as natural. So they sent me out here, a hero's exile, where I won't poison the minds of youth with my bizarre ideas and perverted lifestyle. <laughs> Bigoted fools. You see, Captain, we are not all that different, you and I. We are different from the majority of Vox, and so we in Vox eyes are both monsters. Oh, you like collecting uh, creatures. Uh, goodbye, Admiral Zex. Goodbye, beautiful human. I hope we can meet someday as friends. No. Perhaps even more? No. Never. Keep those tentacles away from me. Ugh. Alright, well, before we do that, we're probably gonna want to go home. Um... Let's actually see, uh... You can tell where the, uh... I might actually want to visit some of these other worlds just as long as I'm here. Like this one down here. It might be an auric world or a treasure world, perhaps? Come on. There we go. What do we have here? Nope. A Urea world. Great. No biologicals either. Okay. Um... Alright, well, yeah, we're definitely going to want to get back to uh, um, Starbase so we can offload some minerals and get rid of the... Uh, uh, 
our stingers. They're, they're not going to do me any good. I don't think that there's anything that they are good against. Which is a real shame. I mean, uh, oh, that's an interesting world. Water world. There should be creatures living on this world. There are creatures living on this world. You know what? We might want to uh, see if we can get some of them. Let's see how we do. So we got some tectonics. Oh, hey. There's only one creature moving around here. I think that's it for our resources. Oh, it's one of these flying bugs. I hate these flying bugs. Oh no, it's a bird. Still. I hate most of the flying creatures in this game. They're almost all really annoying. Get your butt back here. I want to stun you. Alright, fine. I'll stun this guy. Oh, hey. That was pretty easy. Alright, well, now we have more uh, resources to sell the Melnorm when they... Uh, when we f next talk to them. Yeah, we're just gonna go out and uh, use our portal spawn uh, spawner to uh, get home, I think. Probably could have gone off the side of the map that way. Um, yeah, manifest, devices, quasi-portal. Whee! Ha! Missed me! Alright. So, uh, let's see. Which one is the one that I want to get home? Uh, 506-474. That's not that one. That one, right? Yes. Ah, I like this music. It's pretty good. I'll unload all of our uh, materials and uh, get more uh, crew. And we can see the Vux now. I think I know where we need to go to get the beast that he's talking about. Which is not easy. You definitely want all of your uh, ship upgrade, your lander upgrades before you uh, encounter them. Welcome back, Captain. Thanks. I have minerals to offload. More fuel for the fire, eh, Captain? Yep. That last load should keep it blazing. Good. Uh, I need some... no. Um, the analysis reads as follows. Pick something up. Subject, hyperwave oh, yeah. broadcaster. Umga design. Data, this unit is capable of generating extremely intense hyperwave transmissions, though it is otherwise similar to our own casters. Summary, this thing would be great for practical jokes. She could scream boo from an orc cloud to scare the pants or whatever off of everyone in the system. If you used it in hyperspace, there's no telling who might hear you and come running. That's the end of our scientist's report. So it'll basically do the same thing as the uh, um, Bervixie's caster. F uh, it'll call the uh, um, uh, Melnorm. Uh, I think we can also use it to trick the uh, um, Ilra, but I don't need to do that. Right now, at least. Return soon, Captain. Yep. All right, let's go ahead and outfit the starship. Um, yeah, 
I think, I don't think I need all of these. I don't think I need that. Um, tracking system isn't going to do any good. I kind of feel like having another uh, furnace might be, a, might be a good help. Or maybe a dynamo. I think dynamos might... Well, let's see. Combat energy 10.3. Let's see what happens. Actually, let's put the high efficiency fuel system back there and sell that one. And we'll get the, not the tracking system. No, tracking system and sell that and Shiva Furnace. Let's see. Combat Energy 10.3. That goes up to 13.7. If we get rid of that and get a Dynamo, it's a little bit more. I don't remember what exactly they do in terms of uh, the uh, um, what their real advantages are. I guess I'll try it. Maybe I'll get into another battle. Uh, I do think I want the Point Defense Laser. Let's see about that. Otherwise, I think we're pretty good. All right. Shipyard. Scrap that. Scrap that. And scrap that. All right. Let's get some more crew. back up on crew here. Okay. Alright, so next we want to uh, leave and take a visit uh, back to Quasi Space so we can hop over to our next destination. Manifest, Devices, Quasi-Portal. Alright, which one do I want to go to? Four forty eight by five oh four. Right there. All right. And it's interesting that we use no fuel in quasi space. I wonder how we get around. Okay. Let's see. Where exactly are we? Uh, we are way all the way up there. That's not bad. All right. Now, pretty far from uh, um, Vux. That's for sure. Where we want to go is 570 by 979. Oh. Wow, we are right there. That's pretty convenient. All right, well, let's visit this purple world out here first. Uh-oh. Well, let's see how well we do with our, uh... new ship weaponry. We come in peace. No, you don't. What's the use? I bet regardless of what I say, you'll just attack. Priority set at point of origin. Behavior follows dictated priorities. Priority override. New behavior dictated. Must break target into component materials. 
This is probably going to be the next thing that we take care of, just so that there's less that I need to fight. Stay away from me, stay away from me. Oh yeah, I was going to... I was going to put a backwards firing one on here. I yeah, might want to do that. And next. Come on. Stop humping my ship. I'll take you out already. We come in peace. No, you don't. Priority set at point of origin. Alright, that's the same thing. Oh god. There we go. Uh, that did a lot of damage though. Already using up our uh, crew. Pellucid world, anything good? No. Not at all. Now there's only one other world here. Let's see what we've got. Wow. Oh. A water world. Lots of life forms. But I think we'll go after them in the next episode. See you then.